Hello YouTube, 101 Bronson here. Today we're taking a look at my Charles Bronson DVD collection. Uh, let's go over them real quick, shall we? Okay, here's here's my DVD collection. Uh, let's start. I uh, I've put them alphabetically, so let's start. The first movie is Stand at Midnight. J. Lee Thompson directed it. Canon film, 1983 suspense thriller. Great movie. One of Bronson's uh, better 1980s movies. I really like this one. I really do. Next one is Assassination, a real disappointment. This could have been such a great movie. He plays a Secret Service agent. He's sent to protect the First Lady of the United States. It's had such a great concept, but it's fucked up in a lot of ways. Really disappointing. Uh, only hardcore Bronson fans should own this one. It does have its moments, but overall, it just the whole film disappointed me. Next, Chado's Land, the first movie Bronson did with Michael Winner, and it's a great movie, it's a western, it kind of reminded me of First Blood, in that, you know, Bronson, out of self-defense, he kills a sheriff, then he gets chased down by a whole crew, and he takes him down one by one, a lot of, you know, uh, things that happened in First Blood, so, really, really good western. Next one is... A French movie called Cold Sweat by Terence Young. I recently watched it before doing this DVD overview, so I can give a quick opinion of it. Uh, this is not a bad film, but it's far from Bronson's bad. It's, it does have its good moments, and uh, his biceps really steal the show in this movie. I mean, look at that, you know, man. Great um, movie if you're starting out with Bronson. Uh, it does display a lot of his acting abilities, but. This one was his big breakthrough, Death Wish. This one was one where he really did, this movie put him on the map of stardom, I mean, this movie really was his big success and his most recognizable film, gritty, violent, realistic, controversial for the day, great movie. And we've got the sequels, Death Wish 2, even more violent and more grittier than the first one, it looks a lot like the first one but it's so not like the first one. It's really uh, a lot of fans like it for that aspect. It's a uh, really great film. Really good sequel. Next up, Death Wish 3, the campy Death Wish movie. You know, he kills like 50 people in the movie and he gets away with it. And that's the brilliance of the Death Wish movie. Every movie he kills a lot of people and he gets away, at, away with it. No police, nothing. Great, great film. Death Wish 3, one of my all time guilty pleasures. You know, look at that giant gun he's holding on the cover, the Wildy Magnum. Great, great movie. <laughs> Death Wish 4, The Crackdown. J. Lee Thompson directs this one. The previous three were directed by Michael Winner. Uh, Stella Khan, film 1987. He takes on drug gangs. Great movie. Next up, oh, this. Although, I must admit, it's not bad. It has its moments, but it is such a disappointing Death Wish movie. It's my least of the Death Wish movies, but it still has its moments, and it's a good swan song for Bronson. It's a really a good goodbye movie to uh, Bronson. Next up, an ensemble movie, The Dirty Dozen, with Lee Marvin, Ernest Borgin, you know, Tully Savalas in, Charles Bronson, a lot of tough guys. Great movie. Next up, the final movie Bronson in for canon and now a final movie that in the 80s, Kenjite, Forbidden Subjects. Which kind of sounds like a Japanese porn movie, Kenjite, but let's not get further into that. Um, next movies is The Mechanic, one of his best. You know, uh, there's nothing I've left to say, this is a great film. Uh, there's a remake with Jason Statham, so if you're looking for the mechanic, don't pick that one up. Although I'm sure that one is good too, but if you want to see the original, you gotta see, you just gotta see this if you're a Bronson fan. Next movie, Messenger of Death. Despite him holding the gun here on the cover, this is actually like a, a thriller, like a mystery movie. He's solving a murder. He's a reporter, so he doesn't shoot a single person in this movie. So kind of disappointed with that. But still, not a bad film. But I was disappointed by that aspect that he doesn't shoot anyone. Next up, my favorite Bronson film, Once Upon a Time in the West. Also starring Henry Fonda, Claudia Cardinale, Jason Robart. Of 
course, Charles Bronson, you know. Great movie, one of my favorite movies of all time, period. Uh, next up is Say Knives. He plays a quirky character in this one. He plays a ex crime reporter. He takes on a job for some rich guy, and not a bad film, but not one of his best. It's a pretty forgettable movie. Um, next up, so Someone Behind the Door, a French movie starring Bronson and Anthony Perkins, Jill Ireland. Really underrated. It's one of his best performances, in my opinion. He plays an amnesiac. He has lost his memory, and uh, Anthony Perkins, you know, he gets him all crazy, and he, you know, it's 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 a good film. I will get further into it in the review of the movie. Next up, Hard Times, or as 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 it, as it is known in Europe, the Street Fighter. I don't know why they put that title on, but Hard Times sounds much better. Bronson, James Coburn. One of my favorites. His one of his best performances is, is in this one. My least favorite Bronson film, The Stone Killer. I don't know what it is. I just couldn't get into it. It's worth a rewatch, but uh, it just didn't work for me. And uh, well, I have to rewatch it. Next up, 1977's Telephon with Charles Bronson, Donald Pleasance, Lee Remick, directed by Don Siegel, who directed Dirty Harry. Uh, great movie, awful DVD transfer. This looks like in VHS tape. This DVD release by A Film. Bad DVD release, great movie. Next up is 1972's The Valachi Papers, a mafia movie with Bronson and Lena Ventura. Directed by Terence Young, who directed James Bond movies like Doctor No from Russia with Love, Thunderball, he directs this one with Bronson, he's d he done a couple of movies with Bronson, great film. Really underrated, especially since it's the same year that The Godfather came out, so it's a pretty forgotten film if you could understand that. You know, The Godfather got all the credit that year. <laughs> My final Bronson film that I own, Violent City, with uh, also Jill Ireland and Telly Savalas, right there. Great movie, lives up to style, violent, gritty Italian movie. Uh, it's nothing else to say, it's a great movie. So in total I have 21 Charles Bronson films for whoever was counting. I hope you enjoy my Bronson DVD collection. Next up I'm going to do a bunch of movie reviews. And if anybody's interested in more of my DVDs, I have, uh, I'm not just a Bronson film, I have a lot of DVDs. I'm a big movie buff. I have a lot of, uh, you can see right there, a lot of movies. Yeah, Al Pacino movies, Steven Seagal movies. And uh, I have just so much more, so if anybody's interested, I can do my entire DVD collection. So, um, yeah, this was it for today with the Bronson DVD collection. I'll see you later, guys. Goodbye.